Federal agents have been building their case against the gas pipe for months now. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. In addition to the millions the Fed seized in cash and assets, they placed liens against 18 properties, 15 across North Texas, including eight smoke shops shown in red. First on Fox 4 is a hit Arab in Arlington at one of the gas pipe stores that was raided. It's a hit. Good evening, Steve. According to federal documents, undercover officers visited this Arlington gas pipe twice, once last November and most recently in March. And each time they were able to buy synthetic marijuana known as K2 or Spice. They did the same thing at at least 10 other locations, leading to this big bust. The gas pipe advertises pipes, gifts, and novelties. It's not there anymore. But according to the DEA, synthetic marijuana is officially out of stock. I think it's good. I think it's like a nasty, nasty thing. The DEA says the gas pipe chain is the hub for a major synthetic marijuana manufacturing and distribution ring that spans across North Texas and Austin. They label it as legal. They label it as not for human consumption when, in fact, it's sold specifically for, for human consumption. Federal documents show the DEA seized millions of dollars and thousands of pounds of synthetic marijuana, nicknamed Spice or K2. It wasn't good for you, you know, and that's what you mind. Customers that have used the drug before were caught off guard by the news, but not why the feds are targeting it. It can lead to messing up your family, messing up your job, you know, eventually trying to kill yourself. Last month, dozens of users got sick in Dallas and Austin and ended up in hospital emergency rooms. If it's dangerous, if it's like poison, then they need to get rid of it. In all, nearly $3 million from 23 bank accounts were seized, along with cars and other valuables. That's crazy. That's so crazy. The gas pipe owner, Jerry Schultz, is named in the complaint, but not charged with any crimes. But according to federal documents, the gas pipe was the distribution end for a drug trafficking group led by Lawrence Shawan, who was arrested in February on federal drug charges. Authorities say gas pipe locations sold synthetic marijuana made by Shawan's business, branded under names like Mr. Nice Guy and Alien Loose Leaf, and then sold illicitly to children and young adults. They label it as it's not for human consumption, do not smoke, but yet they're selling a three gram bag of this quote incense for anywhere from 25 to 40 dollars. It cost them less than five to make. With this federal raid, customers see a future of more rings and breakups. I think they're all going to have to stop selling K2. Now we tried getting comment from the store, but we're asked to leave. The DEA says it will seize a total of 18 properties, including a combination of 11 gas pipes, four homes, two other properties, and the Ridgely Theater in Fort Worth. But since the seizure process takes a while, the stores, for now, will stay open. Steve. All right, Zahid, the DEA clearly making synthetic marijuana a priority. Are, are they saying specifically why it's a focus for them right now? Yeah, you know, it's, it says local police departments are getting calls from concerned parents weekly that their kids have taken this drug. And since it's a hallucinogen, parents say it's causing those kids to see things and do things they wouldn't normally do, and it's causing them to hurt themselves. Steve, that's why the DEA says taking away access to this drug is just so important. Okay, Zahid Arab in Arlington tonight. Thanks. Now, Zahid mentioned the historic Ridgely theaters involved in this in Fort Worth. The feds put a lien on that property because they say gas pipe owner Jerry Schultz bought the theater with money he made off selling synthetic marijuana. The Ridgely, a concert venue, shares a building with a gas pipe location.